welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless. Lee Keller over here. And oh, who am I? Oh, you're Kim Cavanaugh. I'm Kim Cavanaugh, <laughs> and uh, we're back again this week, Lee, and we're going to be talking about something that is near and dear, I think, to everybody's heart, and that is. Mine's down a little lower. Too. You're a little lower than that. Hey, yeah, the back pocket, the money, money. money. And money's tight these days, Lee. Yeah. And, and you know, one of the things that a computer is really valuable for is a way to look at different scenarios. Yeah, uh, and a lot of people are trying to figure out how to meet their monthly budgets. They're trying to see where they can shift things around, what they might need to do. And you were telling me before, spreadsheets are called what? What if machines? What it's, if it's machines. like it's a way that you can test it to say, you know, what if I won the lottery? Or maybe not something. I that already big. have that one down. <laughs> yeah. I, I, got, I got those fantasies all set in my mind already. Yeah. So, but but in the real world that we all have to live in, where you know money is tight and yeah. we have to make decisions sometimes about where we're going to put our money. A spreadsheet, it can be a great way to do that. Now, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I am no big fan of spreadsheets. I am. I, I absolutely love spreadsheets. Uh, anytime I do a business plan, the first thing I do is outline everything on a spreadsheet so you can see where your expenses are. You can project your expenses. You can put in your real expenses as you go along and see if you're staying within your budget. Hmm, where you find spots that... These are all interesting but, but uh, vague concepts to me, Lee, yeah. the idea of staying within my budget. That's well, an another really important thing about a budget is we have a lot of students graduating today. Uh, maybe they graduate after college or after high school, but they don't know how to manage that money, and that's, that's a very important and, and thing. My wife and I talk about that sometimes, too, how we wish our parents had spent a little more time with us yeah. hel helping us understand just you know the basic day-to-day -day stuff that you need to to be prepared for as an adult. Just balancing your uh, checkbook, right. making that entry every right. time you do. Uh, kids today, they like those debit cards. Yep. And you use the debit card. That's the same as writing a check. And yeah. if you forget to deduct it, you could be in trouble. And that's never happened with your kids, I'm sure, Lee. Actually, no. Well, good. But All right. I don't know how they do it, but they're, they're yeah. good at it. Well, let's go ahead and bring up the, I think we can bring up the computer screen here. We'll take a okay. look at our objectives for today. Okay. Well, and just like everything else, we're going to keep things simple. We'll begin with the basics. Yeah. You, well, you've got your title up there. Show me the money. Okay. Well, how do I visualize where my money's going? How do I work with that information yeah. so that I can manage it more efficiently? First thing we have to look at is what kind of a budget are you looking for? Okay. Is it going to be a monthly budget? Is it a, a vacation budget? Maybe you're just looking for a specific event. Holidays are coming up. Maybe you're looking for a budget that's going to work with your holidays. You Maybe know. you have, a, again, a, a student who's heading off to college, and you need to have a budget laid out for them so they know how to Good manage idea. their money. Yeah. Uh, all right, so kind of budget. Now, maybe I don't know how to make an entire spreadsheet. Where can I get a template where most of the work is done for me? Right, and we were looking at different versions. We're going to be using Microsoft Excel today as we, mm -hmm. as we look at spreadsheets, and it's the most popular spreadsheet program out yeah. there. If you've got the newest version, 2007, it includes a lot of these yeah. tools um, that let you uh, go ahead and have something pre-started. If you don't have that version or mm -hmm. you want to try something different, there are downloadable templates you can get directly from Microsoft. Yeah. And another really good thing, we've talked about OpenOffice a lot on here. And if you go to the openoffice.org website, they actually have a thing there for a lot of plugins. And you can download templates for your presentation, templates for your Word documents, and templates for your spreadsheets. So there's, there's a lot of options there right. on a free program. Exactly. So that's free. Oh, awesome. We like that. We like After free. you find your template, uh, what are the parts of a spreadsheet? So it's, it's going to be important for people to understand what those things are. Right. We'll talk about those. And finally, you know, what are formulas? Well, it's not finally, but uh, you know, <laughs> what, what are, are formulas? formulas? How, we're, we'll how talk does a spreadsheet? About how ones. does a spreadsheet work? I think maybe the, yeah. the way we want to talk about that. And then, uh, how can I test different scenarios? We'll show them how to put in numbers, and, and really, you can test things like, what if I cut my budget fifty percent here? Right. Right, and you know, I think one of the ones we're going to look at is uh, a loan calculation mm -hmm. uh, spreadsheet, or, or a little bit of well, it's actually a spreadsheet. So if you're shopping for a car, for instance, mm -hmm. you can look at different scenarios and make good informed decisions. All right, this dealer is offering me six point five percent. This one's offering me seven percent, but uh, a less down payment. So you can look at different scenarios, compare rebates. them, look at rebates, mm -hmm. all those kind of things. Great. So those all sound interesting. That doesn't sound too scary. Don't forget, we're also going to do viewer mail. And for those people that haven't sent any viewer mail in, all you have to do is log in at www.palmbreezecafe.com slash questions. It's a real simple form. You just fill, fill it out, out real quick, and we'll, we'll address that question. And we get a lot of really great questions. We're yeah. having another one today that I think is real valuable for people. All right. So 
Let's go to the beginning here. Here we are in Excel, and I'll try not to shiver too much uh, I know. You, you because really like I this. just don't like I'm, I'm going to close this. You're going to actually close it. What yeah. are you going to do that for? Well, because we want to start new. Okay. And when we click on this new, one of the options we get over here is to look at templates. Okay, and again, we're using Microsoft Excel in this case, mm -hmm. so it's going to be specific to that program if you have it. So over on the right, you, oh, oh great, there's an office online. Mm -hmm. So in addition to buying the software, one of the advantages to having Excel is that there is a lot of stuff that you can get for free right through Microsoft. Good online resources. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to launch my browser for me. Okay. And it's going to go right to the site. All right. And one of the things that we found on the site that you can do, and obviously you see Excel over here on the left, it came up right away for us. It knows we're working in Excel that we launched this oh, through I Excel. See. Very good. So it's smart. Yeah. So one of the easiest things to do is to do a search. I mean, be specific about what you're looking for. We were talking about budget. So we'll put the word budget in there. And it's only going to search for Excel templates. All right. And we can look down Let's through look here. Look at our search results because a couple things you need to be aware of. Yeah, th this is an important one right here. Yeah. What version? Right, so you have to know what version of Excel you're actually using before you can make sure you get the right template. And you can always find out what the version is by clicking on the help file or the help yeah, let me, uh, menu. Let me go back here a minute and I'll, mm -hmm. I'll show that to people. All you do is you go up to help. And this works on virtually any program. Any program. Click on help and then you go down to about. You're going to look for the word about, exactly. And when we click on this, it'll pop up a little window. And right here we see we're using Office Excel 2003. We okay. don't have the latest version on this Right, one. right. So when we're looking for our templates, we want to make sure that we don't get a, um, a template for a version that's newer than the software that we have installed. Right. Usually you can go backwards, but right. you, you can't go you the can't, other direction. Right, right. So let's go back to our website here. And we'll see that these are 97 or later. Here's one for 2000. Okay, so those would work. And uh, there's a personal budget for, right. but you notice this one is Excel 2007. Uh, okay. That one's not going to work for right, us. Right, right. So there's a lot of them here, an event budget, mm -hmm. personal monthly budget spreadsheet. I like how they're rated so that uh, people who have actually downloaded these and used them have gone in and said, okay, this is really a good template yeah. or this is a not so good template. Uh, so that's helpful as well. And some of those look massive. Yeah. See, this one's 2007. I, I like the looks of this, but right. I can't do that. All right, so let's find one we can use later. Well, let's we'll go back up to the top. The I saw a real easy is. one here. Uh, family monthly budget. Okay. So when I click on that. Well, it's been downloaded over 2 million times, so um, something yeah. tells me it's relatively popular. And then I just click on the word download. And you can see a little window pop up. It downloaded Whoa. it, opened it up for me right away. So you went right back to Excel. You didn't even have to install anything or do anything else. Opens it up instantly. Wow, that's that's really a big advantage there because sometimes when you download these templates, you have to know a little bit more about I'm how to get into saving the file and all that kind right. of stuff. I don't need this panel anymore, so okay. I'm just going to close that. And now I've got more room, and I can actually go here and, and fill that pull up my screen so I can see this better. All right. So what we'll do now is we're, we're going to stop. Okay. We'll come back in, oh, in a moment. We're going to come back. Yeah, okay. come back. Stay with us, and uh, we'll talk about the parts of the spreadsheet a little bit before we get into the formulas. Don't go anywhere.